Welcome back to Delmarva Sports Insider. With much of the athletic world on halt and gyms closed almost everywhere, athletes have been in a bind on how to gain an advantage just when the games do get back underway. But one local gym is changing all of that. Take a look. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to do that five times. J.D. Cherry, owner of One More Rep in Salisbury, has created an effective way to train his athletes while adhering to CDC standards, virtual training. Doing this for over 25 years, you get to a point, you get pretty creative, you have to be, uh, but you want to really definitely try and hit things that they can get it, uh, all the much they can out of the workout and still get what they need to keep things going until this is over. One of Cherry's first virtual clients is former Cambridge star and current Salisbury University freshman Madison Lednam, who says the virtual workouts are much more effective than regular online workout videos. I think it's more beneficial because like, he knows what I do and what I need to work on and how it can better me rather than giving me something much more generalized. I can critique her while she's doing it. We can explain it. The other part of that too is it's a little more entertaining for the client because they're not just sitting there watching something. They can just leave the room and go get a drink or sit down and lay on the couch. They have to keep up with what I'm telling them to do and they have to be um, you know, right there with me. So there is no break. There is no, well, I'll just turn it off and hit pause. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> so that's part of it. The times we're sitting in have perhaps opened up another world to benefit fitness lovers, even while they're away. Would that be something where somebody maybe is, is, is sick or on vacation? Yes, there's all kinds of ways you could use that. If they don't want to miss and they actually want to have your input. And for letting them, input is key. Just 20 games into an already successful freshman year, her season was ended. She's making sure that whenever the game returns, she'll be ready. My season got cut short, and it wouldn't benefit me to not be doing anything. And I think it's really great that he's able to do these and do them one-on-one -on -one to make them more specialized for me and what I do. For more information on how you can sign up for those virtual training sessions, you're going to want to visit omrtraining.com. All right, we're going to keep our countdown running. We're going to send it back over to the wall to Brandon. Thanks, Trey. If you want it to, to go get it, or if you want to go get it, I should say, even a pandemic won't stop these athletes from working. We continue our countdown now with number four. The Girls Henlopen Championship was one of the games of the year. Woodbridge going 16-4 and four this season, taking on Cape for a second consecutive year, and the Blue Raiders looking to avenge a 14-point loss in 2019. Yep. One thing I found interesting about this game, Woodbridge was 20-0 last year, losing to Cape. Yep. Now this year, Cape was the favorites, and the bridge kept things close in the first and began taking control in the second, and the Raiders fell behind by five with four minutes to play. They took advantage of critical Cape turnovers down the stretch. Woodbridge goes on to win this one 48-40, to their first ever girls basketball Henlopen crown. Sierra Smith and Janira Scott led the way with 16-13 and 13 for Woodbridge in the come-from-behind win. And at number three, the Henlopen cleaning up the DIAA Individual Wrestling Championships. First, we have Andre Curry from Cape. He takes home the 170-pound title. After match. winning, he runs over, and he's going to barrel over his head coach <laughs> in celebration. Amazing One moment, of man. eight champions from the Henlopen. JT Davis caps off his season as champion of the 182-pound class. Smyrna takes home four individual titles. Tied with Caravelle for most of the season. We continue to harp on the Eagles. Hugo Harp followed up Davis with another title East in the mode. 220. He flies the Smyrna flag as he runs off the mat. And this was a big moment for the Caesar Rodney Riders. Kevin Hudson winning the 285 pound title. And for the Riders, this was their 100th individual winner in program history. Congratulations to all the winners this season. And coming in at number two, the Cape girls team, they end the season with a big win in Lewis, but unfortunately they won't be able to compete for their first basketball championship since 1973. Led by 1,000 point scorers Abby Hearn and Denia Cannon, Cape was undefeated in the regular season against Delaware teams, and following the loss to Woodbridge in the Henlopen Championship, Cape beat Charter and then Tattnall to earn their first trip to the Final Four since 2011. Don't go anywhere. When we return, we'll have an update on how COVID-19 is impacting Delmarva. Hi, I'm Makaya Applewhite. I'm from Cape and Lopen High School, and you're watching Delmarva Sports Insider.